Aside from deliberate practice to master the skill of simultaneous interpreting as such, the elements that secure development and improvement are post-process tasks. The focus for our purpose is on analysis and self-assessment, as this is what primarily connects simultaneous interpreting and trans-speaking. Since there is no universal definition of quality in interpreting, self-assessment of performance quality does not follow a specific set of rules, but may be adapted to your needs. A relevant distinction should be made, however, between formative assessment and summative assessment. Formative assessment is process-oriented and focuses on particular targets in the learning process. Thus, self-assessment after a given exercise would foreground the extent to which the goal set for the exercise, like applying the strategy of compression or avoiding irregular pauses, has been achieved. Summative assessment, on the other hand, relates to the quality of the interpretation as a final product. This can in turn be broken down into several dimensions. Two basic criteria that are often used are fidelity and fluency. These notions cover accuracy and completeness, as well as the quality of language use and delivery. A different approach suggests a tripartite distinction between content, target language form, and delivery. For each of these three categories, more detailed criteria can be formulated. This is necessary for the criteria to be universally applicable and replicable in the spirit of best practice. Without further explanation, assessment criteria may be rather subjective and not particularly helpful. In this case, content may be, for example, further broken down into accuracy of names, dates, numbers, etc., completeness, plausibility and clarity, coherence or the suitability for the target audience, among others. Form may include, for example, syntax and grammar, linguistic register or the avoidance of interference, whereas delivery may focus on fluency, intonation, rhythm or time-like management. The fundamental principle is to stay true to the communicative effect. This means that the interpretation should have the same effect on the audience as the source speech. The nature of the source target correspondence depends on the interplay of pragmatic, situational and cultural factors for every given context. This unit offers you more in-depth knowledge on the post-process phase. With the help of the learning resources offered, the aim of this unit is for you to develop an effective method that allows you to improve your simultaneous interpreting or trans-speaking skills by way of post-process assessment.